Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shara Akhlast. Hi, I'm Miriam and welcome to Afghan Cooks. I'm the Afghan who cooks. Today we're going to make a staple of Afghan cuisine. It is a vegetarian dish that can be made vegan if you substitute the dairy yogurt for non-dairy yogurt. Never fear. And it's called lubia. It is a red kidney bean stew. Two different sets of kidney beans here. They're all the same bean. I'm going to show you. This is... That's dried. That's what it looks like, okay? And it's, you can't, no, you don't want to do that. That's very bad. Okay. This is what it looks like after it's been soaking for a couple of hours. You can see now it does break pretty easily with your fingers. Let's be honest. Sometimes we have an idea in our head. Tonight I'm going to make lubia, right? And so you soak it and then you forget about it for maybe two days, right? Okay. And then it will look like this. And you can see the difference in it soaked for a couple of hours versus two days, right? It's a little bit plumper, a little bit fatter. If you forget about your beans, you can still use them. Now, in the Instapot, which I'm gonna make these beans in, you don't necessarily have to soak them. You can cook them directly in the Instapot first before you make any of this stuff. What I'm going to do today is I'm not going to cook the beans first and then use them as if I were using canned beans. All of the flavorings and everything, the spices for the lubia are all going to go in the same time. My suggestion as a working parent or a, just a busy person who doesn't have all day to sit around and like boil beans or whatever is when you get up before you go for work, when you have your coffee, take your beans when, if, when they're dry and just cover them in water. That's it. Then when you get home, put everything in the Instapot, let it do its thing, get undressed, relax, and then you'll have dinner ready in about 20 or 25 minutes. Soak it in the morning, cook it when you get home. Okay, that way you're not cooking the beans first, then making the masala, then adding it back in all together with your cooked beans. Of course, you can always use canned beans. I mean, I'm a big fan of canned beans. Cook, uh, dried beans are just a lot, lot cheaper. That's all. Let's make lubia. All right, I have my Instapot on saute. So that's nice and warm. I did pre-prep my ingredients. So this is like a tablespoon of oil, but come on, this is an Afghan dish. You know that that's not how that's gonna work. We're gonna use about three tablespoons of oil. Now I've got one finely chopped onion. We're gonna add it to our hot oil. Here I have five cloves of fi finely minced garlic. We're gonna add that. Here I have about a tablespoon each of cumin and coriander, and the coriander is just slightly crushed and the cumin seeds are whole. We're gonna let this go until it becomes nice and fragrant. It should not take more than a minute, okay? Now, I wanna have layers of this tomato flavor, and because I'm not gonna cook it for too terribly long, this is, we're gonna add some tomato paste, okay? So we're gonna add a good heaping tablespoon of this tomato paste. We're gonna let that cook for just another 30 to 45 seconds just to get a little bit of color on the tomatoes. It's gonna taste like it's cooked for a very long time when you use this tomato paste and you let it cook. I also have here some baby grape tomatoes. Honestly, I'm using these because they're gonna go bad otherwise, so. And to this, I have some vegetable broth. You can use any kind of broth you want. You can use vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth. You can use bouillon. I know, especially if you keep halal, it's very hard to find halal chicken broth that's already in a container like this. So if you use the maji or one of the other chicken broths, it's fine. Just add that directly into this. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit more once I add my, uh, my lubia, once I add my beans to it, so that I see how much liquid I need, right? And it's really gonna depend on how much, how many beans you use, okay? And this is just one can of um, tomatoes, whole tomatoes with its juice. I put it in this jar because like, I opened the can upside down and it looked bad. So it's not like a fancy brand or anything. Now there's a recipe for lubia that I use for my Afghan nachos. Um, it's a little bit different um, because that, the nachos recipe didn't have a lot of liquid in the lubia. I needed it to be a little thicker so it acted more like that whole black beans, refried beans thing. Every family makes this 
differently. There is no correct way to make lubia. There is no actual real authentic way to make lubia. I don't know, I haven't done the research, if this is a recipe that originates in Afghanistan or if it originates in South Asia or Central Asia. My instinct after doing a lot of research is that it probably originates more from South Asia than from Central Asia or Persia. Please leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Some of the recipes say you take this out now, you blend it, make it nice and smooth, and then add the kidney beans. Look, we don't have time for this. I do have an immersion blender. We could add that, that would work. But okay? We just got home from work, we're hungry, our kids are hungry, everyone's waiting for dinner. We don't, we're not gonna dirty another implement right now, okay? We're just gonna put food in people's bellies as quickly as we can with as few dishes as possible after we're all done. Mints, this is optional. It adds a little pizzazz. We have a little salt. Now, I'm not gonna add too much salt quite yet because the, the uh, broth has salt too. Ooh, it's a little bit of ground black pepper. We add the beans. And we are going to add the beans that we soaked two days ago and the beans that we soaked more recently. Okay, so now you can see we need more liquid because these beans are going to soak up all of this liquid and then some. So we have another thing of vegetable broth here and we're gonna add it until it covers all of the beans. So your Instant Pot has all kinds of settings, right? Instant Pot has settings. We can set this to bean chili and it gives me 15 minutes, which I think is enough for the fact that these have, beans have been soaking and 15 minutes of pressure is gonna be enough. Let's let this cook for 15 minutes and see what happens. Okay, let's check it out. I could have just taken this off and then through the magic of television, you see how beautifully thick and rich my gorma lehab is, right? How the gravy is so thick. But the truth is, my friends, Dostan, Kariban, Shirikan, the truth is it was a little liquidy and my tomatoes that I had added were still very whole. So what I did was I made a slurry, which you can see here, it's uh, one tablespoon of cornstarch with just a little bit of water and I mixed it in and I added it into the Instapot and as it boiled, it made it much thicker. And I just took my spoon and I crushed up my tomatoes. Super easy, no big deal. Sometimes you need to add a little cornstarch to thicken it because you had too much liquid, which is okay. And masse. I'm so grateful for all of you subscribing. What would be super amazingly incredible expialidocious is if you hit that bell notification so that you get notified every time I make a new video. Hit that like button and leave a comment as always. And if you're not a subscriber, why would it? Mouthy, it's free. Just subscribe and you get all of this goodness. Until next time.